I've had this hair for quite a while. It's almost a month. And right now, I just feel like bringing them down. Who doesn't hate on doing hair? Like, it takes a lot of efforts, a lot of work. So that's what I'm going to do just right away because I've had it for a long time. So guys, as I undo my hair, I want to share with you guys some ways on how to get that great skin, like the skin with no pimples. If you want to get a smooth skin, that's what I mean. When people hear about beauty tips, they probably relate it to the makeup stuff. But beauty is not all about makeup. So guys, the first tip is about moisturizing your face. There are many factors that can cause the face to dry up, like many factors that can make your skin to dry up. Not just your face, but also your skin. So you need to moisturize your skin. And for the face, a remiss is not enough for the face. You need to moisturize with the best primer. When you want to apply your makeup, you have to use a primer on your face just to protect your skin because the foundation has chemicals and you don't want the chemicals to affect your skin so you have to use a primer before applying your foundation that just helps the skin to, to be hydrated beneath the makeup that you're going to put on so you have to moisturize your face with the best primer the second way on how to get a great skin is that you have to clean your skin you have to clean your face after after you're done with the day because your, your skin carries germs all throughout the day so before you sleep you have to clean your skin and your face and you have to use a clinical makeup remover to remove your makeup on your face because that's just a tip of taking care of your skin you're not supposed to sleep with makeup the third way on how to keep your skin look great is that you have to exfoliate your skin. This just helps to remove the dead skin and give you that breathable skin. Like the skin also needs to breathe so you have to remove the dead skin especially in the on the face. You have to use a scrubber or a facial mask. The facial scrubbers just help to prevent the skin from breaking and drying. So, if you want to have a great skin, you have to exfoliate your, your face by using a scrubber or a mask just to remove the dead skin and that will leave your face looking more fresh and breathable and you'll not have such breakouts like the pimples and stuff the first step on how to have a great skin by using a sunscreen 
the sunscreen just helps your skin from getting in contact with the sun with the direct sunlight it protects your skin from the harmful sun rays that can cause your skin to have blemishes because of the harsh the harsh weather or the sun for the eye area you need to use an eye primer on the eye area because the eyes also need protection they need some good care so you have to use a eye primer on your eyes just to protect your eyes the last tip is about using water to achieve a great skin you have to drink water you have to drink a lot of water because water helps in hydrating the the body hence hence it hydrates the skin also you just don't need to moisturize your skin without moisturizing beneath your skin you have to to drink a lot of water so that you leave your skin looking young and fresh every time because you have to be hydrated from inside also you need to take almost two liters of water in a day Like when you wake up, you have to take a glass of water. That just helps to keep your skin young, looking young and great and flawless. Just helps in protecting the skin. So you have to drink a lot of water to keep your skin hydrated. And you'll have a great skin. So I have my water with me, guys like after every five minutes i have to sip some water just to keep my skin healthy and hydrated that is it for the tips guys uh, i was just trying to share with you my my daily in care routine hope you've enjoyed listening as I undo my hair let's meet on my next video guys thank you so much for watching